and welcome back to another video. This is the Juvie Caboose Ultra Light Stand on Tandem Stroller and I purchased this on Amazon. <coughs> so this basically goes back to our trip to Japan a couple months ago. We needed a new stroller because the current one that we had, which was the Evenflow Reversi Lightweight Reversible Stroller with the two handles, just made it harder to maneuver around, especially with one hand. We were hoping that we could find something where it had a wrap around and we would be able to push it with one hand. As you know, Japan has a ton of walking and there's hills, ups and downs, and there's bumpy roads and it's really narrow. So we want wanted to find something that would work for our trip. The even flow one was two pieces so that added to the hassle of having to carry two pieces every time we folded it and it was also a bit wide because of the wheels. I did a review on the Living Basics portable foldable stroller so if you haven't seen that I'll put the link down below but basically I was super excited about that one. I loved how it folded down to basically like a carry-on size and it had a handle like a actual luggage. It also had a carrier bag. The home test worked out really well it pushed around really smoothly and I was even able to maneuver it and turn it with one hand but once I did the test in the real world the bumps the cement the uneven sidewalks the potholes everything it just did not work and every single time I pushed her on the stroller you can feel it bouncing up and down it was really kind of scary because the space from the bottom to the seat it was really empty and there wasn't a lot of structure to it. it could have broken or collapsed at any time and with the amount of walking that you do in Japan it's definitely not something that I want to have to think about thankfully I gave myself enough time that I was able to find another one last minute and that is this guy right over here I was super excited because it did have pretty decent reviews this stroller weighs about 22 pounds the recommended weight for the front seat is from children three months old up to 45 pounds and 44 inches tall the back seat is for children 30 months old up to 45 pounds and 44 inches tall. Unlike the Living Basics portable foldable stroller in my other video, this doesn't come with a handle or carrier bag. What you can do is use your luggage strap if you have one and use it as a strap by looping it around the bars on the side of the stroller. There are two levers, one on either side at the back under the handle area where you pull up in order to fold or unfold the stroller. When unfolding, another thing I did was use my legs to push against the stroller as it clicked into place. Once folded, there is also a lock feature that you can clip onto the little screw on the right side of the stroller. The material is polyester which makes it easier to clean. It isn't removable though which is a downside so definitely spot clean the area right away if possible. The front seat includes a three point harness and shoulder straps. Both the straps on the waist and shoulders are adjustable. In fact, the shoulder straps have three height options that you can switch to. You just have to unclip the hook of the strap from the waist buckle and either slide it all the way back or all the way forward. I suggest turning the adjustable part of the strap so it's easier to fit through the hole. I really like this feature as it gives options depending on your child's height and preference. Sometimes my baby didn't even use the shoulder straps, she only used the waist straps because she felt more free without them. The buckle had a really nice firm and secure clasp. The food tray attachment is made of plastic. I do like how there are two cup holders and it's deep enough that food can't just spill over too easily. This attachment can be useful for those of you who have smaller babies who stay in the seat for majority of your trip or outing, but mine however likes to sit and stand switching back and forth quite often so the food tray for us wasn't really needed. In fact, we didn't even bring it with us to Japan. To attach it, pull the sleeves of the seat back and make sure it clicks into place. I did find it difficult to remove as the button to release it was quite stiff. Another great feature for those with the newborn is that this comes with a baby car seat attachment. You can attach this to the handle, same place you would attach the food tray. The seatbelt straps to keep it in place will be stored on either side of the handles in the little pouches. Make sure to recline the seat back when placing the car seat on top. There is also an extra security button when releasing the seat belt. The front seat can be reclined twice. To recline the seat, you just need to push up on the metal bar at the back of the seat. This was extremely useful for those long days during our Japan trip as my baby took multiple naps and was able to sleep longer and be more comfortable since she didn't need to sleep sitting up. It also helped that I brought extra jackets and blankets to use as a pillow. There is also a tiny elastic pocket at the back of the seat as well. The footrest wasn't a great feature for my baby. The part where you place your feet isn't very big so anytime she put her feet on it while it was down they would slide off and if she let her legs hang in front of the footrest it was uncomfortable because it would dig into the back of her ankle area and anytime it was up she would have to lay her legs in a diamond shape which we usually only did if she fell asleep so they didn't flail around in order to keep it up there is a small gap where the hook has to go put it back down you'll have to kind of lift it a tiny bit first to release the hook and then bring it back down to the lower section keep in mind that it does get stuck sometimes especially if your kid is sitting in the seat and has the weight of their legs on it 
The backseat can be moved backwards and forwards. There aren't any shoulder straps, but there is an adjustable three-point harness for the waist that is connected to the front chair. If you have a taller second child, you would definitely need to make sure the front seat is reclined upward in order for your child to be more comfortable sitting down. During our trip to Japan, this was a great seat for my baby's backpack, which is box-shaped, so it stayed really nicely on the seat. The brake system is connected by a bar inside the back stand. If you press one down or release one side, the other side should follow. Keep in mind to push down harder to really ensure the brakes are enabled. Again, I'm not sure if we just got a faulty one but the brakes did not always work for us. We had to push down really hard and even then it would still somehow release by itself not just on a hill but even on a moving train or not moving at all. There are also locks in the front wheels depending on your preference of how you want to steer the stroller. When locking the front wheels you should hear a click when pulling the lever all the way up. The back stand is a great feature to have if your baby is a little daredevil. Mine gets scared easily, so she wasn't very inclined to use it though, which was a bummer because that was one of the main reasons we got this stroller, so she could sit or stand while getting pushed during those long days of walking in Japan. I do really like how it's attached though and doesn't stick out past the wheels like regular attachments for other strollers do. This bottom storage can hold up to 5 pounds. This is probably my least favorite thing about this stroller aside from the safety issues. The design of it makes it so it's super inconvenient at least for us. I struggled to put in those two empty backpacks so once it had stuff in it I definitely wasn't able to get it down there which is why I'm so glad I had the seat for the backpack. It might look spacious but the more you shove in there the harder it will be to get things out and it's quite flimsy. I also dislike how it has button straps rather than like a zipper or something. These button straps were all around and some were so hard to unbutton. We ended up just leaving one of the back corners unbuttoned so it was a bit easier to shove things and grab things quickly from there. Another thing we did was pull the back seat back and use that gap between the two seats to grab things and put things in there as it was easier than reaching from the back or the sides. You also have to keep in mind that you might have to remove your things from the bottom storage in order to properly fold the stroller. The canopy covers both the front and back seat. Make sure that when you are connecting it you have the side of the canopy with the zipper facing the back. A great thing about this is that there are reflectors on four corners, two in the front and two in the back. Connecting it is pretty simple, make sure you hear the click, but removing it was a bit harder for me as the button that you pressed to release it was a bit stiff. It is adjustable so you can move it forwards and backwards. There are also locks on both sides to keep it from closing. All you have to do is press down and pull up to release. This storage accessory that's included is probably my favorite thing about this stroller. It's an elastic material and easy to clean. It slips on snug around the handle of the stroller which is great because it doesn't slide off or move around and it's closed together in the middle by velcro. The small zipper pocket at the front can't really hold anything big but it was still useful to have. The main compartment is open so not zipped or anything but came in super handy for us. This is where we kept sanitizer, hand cream, tissue, cutlery, basically anything we use constantly throughout the day. I love how there's two cup holders, especially for traveling in Japan because we always had a drink handy and it was easier than going into the backpack every time we got thirsty. It's pretty spacious so tall and wide drinks should definitely not be an issue. I also really like how they are in front of the handle rather than on the side like the Living Basics or even my Even Flow because it saves space and doesn't wobble or tip over. This is another cool feature that this stroller has. Remember how I told you to make sure the zipper side of the canopy was facing the back? Well that's because this amazing stroller accessory also comes with an attachment that zips to the canopy so it definitely ensures coverage for the back seat. I did a quick home test. She really liked sitting in it as it was definitely comfier than other strollers. She even sat there for a bit watching her iPad. <laughs> and at the time, pushing with one hand felt really smooth and easy even doing circles. But when I took it out for a spin in the real world, it was definitely a bit harder. I could still push with one hand, even going left and right, but it was more of a struggle. I had to use a lot of force to keep it going the way I wanted to. It was even harder when we had a bunch of things on it too, but having the wraparound handle makes it a lot easier. You have to keep in mind all the other factors that play into it while pushing the stroller outside too, like the uneven sidewalks, the bumps in the road, the potholes, the hills, the narrowness of the streets, especially in Japan, the weather, and etc. I did like the height of the stroller though as it worked well for me. I'm 5'8 and I didn't feel like I had to push my shoulders back too much or hands up too high in order to hold the hand. Forgot to mention that if you are taking this for a trip, it will not fit in the overhead of a plane. You'll either need to check it in when you check in your bags or let them know you prefer to keep it with you until right before boarding your flight. Make sure you don't lose the tag they give you. We also asked for some tape as the footrest flops around. She really liked this one. She was actually afraid of the Living Basics portable one. She just didn't like it. It was really uncomfortable. I know this one comes with the food tray and everything, but we didn't bring those with us just because it added to the weight, added to the extra things to carry. And also when you fold 
hold the stroller with the canopy it adds like this much of it lengthwise another good thing about this is that because it is tandem and it had that extra seat i was able to put my base expandable backpack on there instead of having to carry it the whole day which was really really great because we had a lot of stuff in that backpack the weight distribution of it was really nice i brought some reusable bags from home they were big with long straps we were able to tie that onto the stroller i found that with my even flow if my baby isn't sitting in the front seat and i have a bunch of grocery bags or anything on the handles it will just topple over whereas this one when she's not on the seat and even though we have a bunch of things hanging on the back it will stay put especially with the backpack on the back too it doesn't topple over or anything because that it is a lower stroller there's two safety hazards i would definitely say and these are the reason why i didn't end up keeping this stroller one is the brakes the brakes just did not stay at all it would just release by itself it's just really really scary but you have to just keep an eye on it just got into the habit of always pushing it down even when it was braked i never replaced it so i don't know if the brake system is faulty in all of them or just mine so please keep that in mind when you are looking for strollers and another one which was a really horrible experience because it is so low and my baby has long legs the footstool that comes with it isn't really really comfortable for her when it's down or lifted and then because she's walking all day she likes to take her shoes off even with her shoes it happened but without the shoes it was scarier so her feet would get caught in the wheel it was really really scary because her foot got caught quite a bit of time but the one time that her foot got really caught in it was when the stroller was turned already at an angle so we were trying to turn it the other way to get it loose but her foot was already caught in it the only way to release the foot is to maneuver the stroller back and forth in order to get her foot loose thankfully nothing happened though there was no bruise there was no aches or anything she was able to walk on it right away it was super heartbreaking as a parent to see that it was also super disappointing because this is quite expensive for a stroller it's higher up there than you know the living basics or the even flow reversey one that i have basically for the rest of the trip we just kind of had to keep going like this to make sure that her legs were inside it's hard for her to remember to do that right because she's still a baby so she doesn't really understand the concept of what's going on obviously after that she got scared and she kind of tried to keep her legs closer you have to make sure you keep an eye on that so just please 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 be careful overall this one is a really really good stroller especially if you have a small baby right now i can't even touch the floor or touch the bottom of the footrest also if you guys have multiple children i only have one child but i always liked tandem strollers over the side by side strollers i just find it more convenient it is a little bit heavier but it folds quite easily this one was definitely a really good choice to get for our trip to japan because it just helped a lot with holding things and having her be comfy when we were pushing her on it with all the bags that we had hanging at the back of the stroller and the backpack on the stroller it didn't feel like it was gonna break apart or collapse the sturdiness and the structure of this stroller is really really nice and i would definitely recommend it on that alone but again the brake issue is something that we had yours might not have that but definitely the legs and the wheels be careful let me know below what kind of strollers you guys have if you guys have tried this or if you have this and what you guys think if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up click on the subscribe button and i'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching everyone see you guys later